Infinity Danger. Hey everybody, this is Rick O.T. and you're watching Indie Edition. Tonight we're going to be checking out Infinity Danger. I found this on Indie Dania. It was only a dollar, so I went ahead and picked it up. From the video, it looks like a R-type kind of deal from the top down. Looked pretty cool. The graphics looked pretty slick, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, take a look at this. The um, play settings are actually hidden in extras under settings, so you can go ahead and uh, just set a couple of things here, graphic settings and all that stuff, down in uh, the display settings and full screen and all that. I went ahead and turned anti-aliasing on so we can see what that looks like, and as far as the actual controls, it's under how to play, pretty straightforward, WASD, 48260. Oh, I gotta like do this thing here. That's really awkward, but okay, sure, why not? And apparently, there's some problem with keyboard locking issues, so space and. What? Go and shrink your sprint. This seems like a controller deal that I should be using, but that's okay. Um, this is gonna be kinda awkward, but let's see how it goes. I'm used to the two two-way shooters being with WASD and the arrow keys, like in um, Binding of Isaac, but we'll see how comfortable this turns out to be. Sure. Next. Okay. Basic kind of stuff. Kill enemies, get more time, get cool stuff. Blah, blah, blah. Wow. Okay. Okay, let's just escape and go back. Let's play. Roll danger. danger. Oh my danger. god. I already, I already feel good. Wow. This actually looks really damn cool. I am very impressed with this. And you know, I thought that the, um... That was pretty cool. Um, so it looks like it fires all the time. So, let's check out. Um, so this actually feels pretty uh, comfortable using 4, 8, 6, and 2 to do the aiming. That's pretty impressive. And uh, I like the world ranking, but I'm not really sure uh, what that's referring to. I'm not sure if it's time or if it's score. But um, I, apparently I suck because of um, 5,000 ranking. The uh, little infinite transfer is pretty cool too as far as like the little chart that shows you the different kinds of tactics that this particular enemy utilizes. This is really cool. It's very slick looking too, very smooth, no, um, no any kind of jumpiness or flickering or anything like that. Oh, I see. Uh, oops, I actually kind of turned off the auto fire. That's okay. I don't need auto fire. Of course, now that I said that, I'm totally going to fail miserably, but that's okay. It's just the internet, right? You guys won't chastise me too much. Wow, this is, this is actually a lot better than I expected. I mean, it looked really cool in the video, but, um, uh, there it is, first death. Uh, it looked really cool in the video, but this is, this is much better than I expected. I always expect these kinds of games to be kind of, um, jaggedy and, uh, really just, um, like, not fluid. And this is a really, really fluid motion. Wow, these things are getting like exponentially bigger, but they are badass looking. So far, the only thing I don't like is I can't kill those stupid green orbs here, that's okay, because they're pretty... Those are heat seekers, holy crap. Wow. So I'm really hoping that this audio is not plus making your eardrums bleed, because when I first started the, uh, the game, like, I don't keep my audio settings very high, but let me just tell you, my ears were bleeding profusely uh, from the loud noises and the volume. Wow. Very cool. 
I like the little achievement system there too. We're gonna have to go ahead and dig into that. So that's really cool. I like how it gives the stats and that wow. And that little chart that kind of shows you the the little overlay of how this particular machine deploys its weapons and what kind of weapon it has. that it uh keeps track of your time too. I really wanted to oh, oh, I really want to know what kind of stats it uses to measure your uh, ranking, which apparently I've gone down to a thousand in world ranking, so that's pretty cool. That's I guess hugging the walls is not a good idea in this game. You never know where those heat seekers are going. The, the danger thing is actually kind of getting a little obnoxious. Holy crap! Very excellent use of um of recyclable machine parts here. Oh man! So I'm trying to figure this out. It seems like I have like infinite lives. Or something. Not using them all. This is really fun. I kind of wish I had more, um, a, a more weapon to check out here. The um, changing of this spread is actually pretty, pretty horrible too. Q and E. I mean, if you play a first-person shooter, you're used to using Q and E anyway for changing, you know, leaning in a direction or whatnot. So it seems like you can actually blow up an entire segment by destroying the connected piece. Try that. talking about as far as it being stuck, but so I wonder how long this goes on for. Oh, that's weird. So I'm having a weird thing with my keyboard where if I'm holding down certain key combinations, it actually prevents me from moving. I almost wish I had a controller. Pretty awesome. So let's see if we can So when you start the game, it actually gives you like that player whatever. You just hit the uh, shift key, I think it was, to change your actual name. Yeah, see shift down there. Now let's see extras of boards. Start a level 5 boss. Total of 100 bosses. Oh, that's pretty cool. So it's got its own little built in achievement system. I mean, it's not crazy as far as how much uh, stuff you can get achieved in here. Um, but also, 
this is most likely in line with the Xbox Live achievements because this game is also on Xbox Live Marketplace uh, as well. So uh, if you go into the indie game section, you'll be able to find this game in there. And I'm assuming that it probably has these uh, achievements in there as well. So let's go ahead and stats. That's wow, this is really detailed. Very cool. I'm uh, I'm really impressed with that. Let's go ahead and check out another another game here. like a, a, a tower ascent kind of thing, you know, once you wipe your your game is over and you're done and and that's the end. Get to start over again. Let's see if I can get further this time. Whenever my game is over we'll, we'll call it a day. So it seems like your your world ranking is partially based on your score but also partially based your time on how long it takes for you to complete the level. I'm trying to remember how uh, if these are like the same things that I encountered last time or not, then I really I really don't remember because it's one o'clock in the morning and I have no memory right now. And apparently lack of skill as well. kill the whole machine all the way around. The, the idea is to kill the heart. I want to see some of these other weapons that we were talking about. And, you know, I really love the idea of being able to change the spread of your fire. That's just awesome. It's heavily damaged. I really like the sound too. It doesn't sound uh, it doesn't sound chintzy. It doesn't sound low quality. I mean, everything from graphics to audio, it, it sounds really super high quality. I'm, I'm pretty excited. This is, this is probably one of the best games. <laughs> I know that I actually just said that yesterday about. Um, Most definitely, these are not the same robots that I played on the last run. So it definitely seems like they are randomly chosen. I'm assuming that it probably, um, and I bet I can look this up on the Indievania site, I bet it probably generates these at random based on the profile of this screen here, like the profile that it is for that particular level of a boss. This is... I am damn impressed. Uh, nice, 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 nice. I wonder if it um, takes your world ranking into your into account, how quickly you're here in the levels and all that kind of stuff too. Because I almost feel like this boss is way harder than the boss at the same level that I got yes uh, earlier. So. definitely doesn't even feel like I'm playing the same game that I just played before in Moss. So that's, that's kind of exciting in itself, that you're going to get really the same luck twice, or the same uh, game twice. Bad luck. You know, I, at the beginning of this, I said it was going to be like hard type, and uh, I'm actually quite impressed. Uh, I don't feel like this is like hard type at all. Actually, I 
I mean, aside from, you know, you're shooting at crap in space, and, uh, you know, you're, it, I mean, it's, it's the same concept, but it doesn't play like our type at all. It's a totally different kind of game. Which kind of makes it impressive in its own way, of course. Like your own crazy creature of infinite dangerousness, and uh, share this with your friends up on Xbox Live. Oh, that was pretty classic. Share this with your friends on Xbox Live or with some kind of community environment. That would be that'd be pretty phenomenal. I mean, it seems like the infrastructure is already there for the community, considering it has a, a global leaderboard, uh, and that in itself is, is pretty cool. I love global leaderboards. I love seeing how. You know, even, even if I suck at a game, I like seeing how badly I suck compared to the rest of the people that are playing it. of mass destruction and multiple turrets and infinite danger. These are starting to get a little Voltron-y looking. I kind of like it. Let's go for not dying. How about we do that one? I need better weapons. getting a little hairy up in here. to see here, so I'm not going to go through another round. And that's going to wrap it up for In the Edition tonight. This is Rick O.T., and you've been watching me play Infinity Danger. Hope you guys have a great night. Remember, again, this is available on the on uh, Indievania. I bought it for a dollar. It's a pay-what-you-want minimum of a dollar, and I'm kind of poor, but I'd rather give something than nothing. So, uh... If you could please uh, remember to subscribe so that you can see more issues of any edition. And go ahead and follow me on Twitter, Facebook, Twitch, and all the other stuff that I've got in my description below. Thanks for watching, and we'll check you next time.